Want to know about what Yeti does during the day? Well, I'm gonna tell you that on today's Yeti's Place. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Check out the links down below. New content is released every Monday and Thursday. Let's get started. So I have a treat here because Yeti is a little bored tonight. He's very, very sleepy tonight. And so I had to lure him into here with a treat. And now he's just going crazy. He wants this treat, like really, really wants the treat. Like tonight I was telling him, Yeti, let's go film YouTube. As he was laying by the back door. And of course Yeti just wanted to keep laying there. He didn't want to come film YouTube, which is very unusual for him. His dad brings him to work. And Yeti loves going wherever his dad goes. They go on a walk, a mile walk. And then Yeti's dad comes home over lunchtime and walks Yeti for another mile walk. Yeti doesn't just sleep. During the daytime, Yeti destroys boxes. So there are boxes littered all over the house, shredded all over the place. Yeti loves boxes. Then he hangs out by the window because there's a neighbor dog. He loves watching that neighbor dog. And he gets excited whenever he sees the neighbor dog playing outside. He wants to like go play with him. And he wants to impress this neighbor dog. So Yeti leaps all over the room from couch to chair, couch to chair. And then he go comes racing into the room, flying leap onto the couch, moves the rug, like multiple feet moves it. Yeti, when he takes a flying leap, he takes a flying leap. Like we're talking Olympian size leaps, 15 feet type leap. The carpet is all like scattered all over the floor and the pillows on the, the couch are all scattered all over the place. And so is the, the blanket that sits on the couch. That's scattered everywhere because Yeti loves jumping up onto the windowsill to watch this neighbor dog and to look at the neighbor dog and try to impress the neighbor dog. And then he also loves watching woodchucks because there are woodchucks at this house. And then he loves watching squirrels too. He just loves having fun and he's a stinker whenever he goes over there. So when Yeti comes home at nighttime, he's a little bit tired because he's been racing all over that house, chasing after the animals, flying leaps everywhere. So he can sit a lot of exercise at this house. His dad comes home to get him and Yeti plays tag, racing all over that house, running around his dad, having his dad try to catch him, which doesn't always work. And then once his dad catches him, well then he gets him hooked up on the leash and then tries to put him in the car, but yet he doesn't want to go in the car. Instead he wants to check out the neighborhood animals, the woodchucks and the squirrels and the neighbor dog. He doesn't want to get in the car and come home. But then once he's in the car, then he gets excited because he's going to come home and see his mom. Yet he comes racing up to me, like racing full speed up to me, like practically tackles me, jumps up on me, kisses me, tells me, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, my mom is home. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mom, I missed you. You want to know what I did today? I did all this cool stuff today and you missed all the cool stuff that I did. I got to chase squirrels and I got to chase the neighbor dog, even though they didn't think I was chasing them. I was totally chasing them. So that's his daytime adventures. So they're quite adventuresome. And of course it, it tires Yeti out a little bit, which I kind of like that because then he's calm and relaxed. Unless of course I have a treat. So thank you so much for tuning in today to Yeti's Place. Be sure to subscribe. Please check out the links down below and we'll see you next time. Bye.